Good morning. First, I'd like to apologize that I'm doing a voiceover on this video. My microphone went south on me and was making a whole bunch of noise, staticky and poppy and feedback and just not very good. So uh, you're stuck with a voiceover today. So sorry about that. Uh, today's video um, I was asked to participate in the USDA APHIS Honeybee Pest and Disease Survey. And that's in conjunction with Washington State University, University of Maryland, USDA APHIS, and the Bee Informed Group. So I was super excited to be able to participate. Um, the testing began in 2009 to address the emerging concern about diminishing bee health for honeybees. Um, and the tests that they'll be taking care of, um, they, it's, it's huge. They, they check for Aposarena, Varroa, Nozema, acute bee paralysis, chronic bee paralysis, deformed wing virus, deformed wing virus B, Israeli acute bee paralysis virus, cashmere bee virus, Lake Sinai virus, Moku virus, slow bee paralysis virus, uh, Nozema serrana, um, in the wax samples, they're checking for pesticides. In the alcohol sample, they're checking for Aposarena, Varroa, Nozema. So it's pretty all-inclusive. Uh, the lady that came to do the testing in my yard today, well, actually, she does all of Washington State, is Erin O'Rourke. And she's fantastic. She's coming from Washington State University. And out of the eight colonies in my yard, one colony she'll be doing a double sample and she'll, one sample will go to Washington State University. Um, here she's in my first hive. We've, we've, she's shaking a frame of bees and she's putting that into the live sample box. So it's a little box and she'll put samples from all eight uh, colonies into the live sample. And then same with the alcohol wash. She's getting ready to do all eight samples will go into the same alcohol wash. This was a pretty all-inclusive testing um, how much samples that she took both live bees alcohol wash pollen samples eggs and larvae it was pretty inclusive I won't get the test results back until November so it's a little bit of a wait but when you figure Hundreds of beekeepers across the country are, are doing this test, and it's all getting compiled in Maryland. It's no wonder. So November actually doesn't seem that, that far away. As you can see now, Aaron is taking pollen samples out of one of my frames. So at this point, she's collected live bees. She's collected bees in an alcohol wash. And now she's doing pollen. Uh, she gathered the pollen up and, and put it in a little test tube. Pretty good size test tube. Uh, the interesting thing about all of this is all eight colonies that are tested, all the live bees uh, are put together. All the alcohol wash bees are together in the same vial and all of the pollen are put together and then all of the eggs and larvae are all together from all eight colonies um, so each colony isn't tested individually there it's each apiary that Erin tests uh, is done and she does eight colonies at each apiary so she did eight at Jim's today she's doing eight at my place now and then she went on to do Jerry Tate, uh, Tate's Honey Farm. She did one of his yards. And then I think three other beekeepers uh, here in the Inland Empire uh, that she, she did the testing for. And it was very interesting to, to watch. Uh, but as I said, it as you'll see in upcoming clips, 
it was when she collects the the eggs and larvae it's pretty intense at this point Erin is finishing up the pollen and she's gonna knock the few straggler bees off of this frame and then the violence begins uh, if you don't wish to watch this shut off the screen this right here she literally is gathering eggs and larva and she just whacked the heck out of them onto that aluminum cookie pan and then she gathers them up and they go in another little that little vial cup that she's got there and she did that with one frame from each of my hives as well um, I about jumped out of my skin the first time she did it and it wasn't much easier watching each additional frame but it was very interesting to see the process um, and like I said I am excited to see what the results are of the extensive testing that WSU and USDA will give back to me by November. So at this point we're going into the third hive and I'm not going to go every frame by frame of each hive that we did. Uh, there were just highlights like she was able to get a better sample off of this hive as it was a one of my stronger colonies she gets her live bees and the alcohol wash all from the same frame and the frame she had me pull she made sure that it was a brood frame and it had capped and uncapped eggs and larva and she gets the entire sample from each or from from one frame from each hive so all in all pretty low impact on the colony high stress for me that's pretty much it here she's gathering up pollen Again, this is again hive three and it's pretty interesting how much pollen she takes I guess when you think about it taking a quarter cup of bees for the live a quarter cup of bees for the alcohol wash and then she takes a fair amount of pollen out that she puts in the vial and when she was finished with all eight of my hives, the pollen vial was completely full. It was full to the brim. So it was no small samples, that's for sure. Definitely, uh, definitely a large amount. And here we're getting into the egg and larva sampling once again. She gets the few live bees off of the frame and then whack. And it doesn't look like she's whacking hard, but let me tell you, there was, I mean, it bends her little pan there that she's got going on. So, I mean, she had to hit it pretty hard to get those eggs and the larva to detach from the cells. So that's probably the last one of those that I'll show. But just to give you an idea, um, it was just one frame from each colony, uh, but that was enough. When I say one frame from each colony, um, I did forget that out of this hive, we did uh, samples off of two frames. This sample that she's taken here uh, will go to WSU. All the other samples that she gathers up is all... USDA 
samples that go to Maryland. Uh, this second frame that was shaken into this box uh, will go to Washington State University for testing down there. So this was the only hive that they uh, took additional bees uh, and it was just for WSU. So I s correct my previous statement. But this was the only other hive that they did that with. Aaron continues to sample my highs. Um, just some of the requirements that were uh, needed to participate. Um, the, the apiaries that did volunteer, so this is completely voluntary. It's not a mandatory thing. It's not like the state came in and said, hey, we want to inspect your hives. Um, that can happen. But that's not what this is about. This is all voluntary. Um, the uh, Apiaries, you have to have at least 10 colonies. I'm up to 17, uh, so I, I fell into the parameters. Um, and they only do sampling um, out of eight of those, those colonies. So each apiary, you have to have at least 10 colonies, and then they sample from eight of those. And then different, depending on the kind of beekeeper you are, that there's priorities giving queen producers, package nuke producers, honey producers, and apiaries used for crop pollination actually have priority. Um, apiaries in areas of high risk for invasion of exotics, non-native species, or near deep water shipping ports, international airports, high traffic areas for migratory beekeeping, they also have priorities. Um, so it's, and I'm not any of those, uh, I'm just a backyard beekeeper, and when I was asked to participate, I, I was actually really excited, um, mostly because I'm curious to know what my hives look like. I feel like I'm doing the right things. Uh, then I have a winter like I did last winter, and I lost all my bees. So it'd be nice to know if there's something else going on that I'm unaware of. I do check for Varroa regular, um, and I feel like my bees are super healthy. Like uh, my mite washes, my alcohol wash for mites has literally produced one and two mites per wash. Um, and I didn't treat, I, I actually did the alcohol wash uh, four or five days prior to Aaron coming to, to do the this uh, test and I didn't treat after that alcohol wash uh, test and mostly because I knew Aaron was coming so I want I didn't want to tamper with any of any of the the of my hives I wanted to get the most accurate data as I could so I haven't treated now that now that all the testing is done I will start my oxalic acid treatment um, I know some people are like one mite, two mites. Why are you why are you treating? I I'm all about prevention. One and two mites that, that might as well multiply that by four. I know I said I wouldn't show this again, but it's the final hive. And that's the final test of this setup. I know I didn't show it in the previous samples that she was taking, but here in this, this little section, Aaron is gathering up all the eggs and larvae that she beat out of the frames. Um, she gathers it all up that white bucket there that you see with the clips on it in the lower left of the screen there uh, it's filled with uh, just distilled water and a cheesecloth on top and she takes that and she puts all of the eggs and larvae through the cheesecloth there and then she wraps 
all of them up, puts them in a little tester jar, and all of that uh, goes to Maryland with the rest of the samples for the uh, final test. And as I stated earlier, I won't be getting the results of this test back until uh, about November, she said. But that's fine. As soon as I get those results, I'm actually really excited to see how the how the results of my my yard comes out. Uh, about a week prior to this, maybe not even a week, just probably four or five days prior to this testing, I had done alcohol washes on this yard and my mite count was between one and two. Uh, I hadn't started treating only because I knew that Aaron was coming to do this test. So I'm excited to see how everything goes in the test. So thanks for watching guys. Hope it wasn't too boring or too brutal. Again, sorry for the voiceover. I'm really bummed about the voiceover, uh, but my mic was giving me all sorts of fits. So until next time, be good to each other.